Courtney and I are in the middle of our week-long journey into some of the best matcha on Jeju Island, hand-picked by the Jeju Food and Wine Festival. The itinerary includes restaurants participating in the festival's Gourmet Week and represent eateries specializing in local ingredients and quality taste. The night before, we enjoyed soju and beer late into the night at Tugolbi, a meal that we will surely never forget. But now, there's the hangover to deal with, and several matchup waiting for us to explore. We just got up, we're about ready to hit the road. We're gonna start the morning with a little bit of Jeju traditional muhe. The weather is so beautiful, we're so lucky. Luckily, the first place on our list supplies the perfect hangover breakfast. Jeju-style doenjang muhui. Gongcheonpo Shikdang serves some of the best Jeju-style muhui on the island. We got two bowls of muhui. We got kuei dopbap. Um, this place is so busy. I think it's a really famous local matchup. There's a lot of like local fishermen here mixed with the tourists. And this bowl of muhe looks so beautiful, like the chari muhe. And again, this is going to be the duengjan muhe, um, which is a traditional Jeju style muhe. Ooh, oh my. Mm. I like it. Really strong duengjan mixed with shikjo mat. It's really good. Look at that, it's beautiful. All right, do a little chamgiram. Everything looks so fresh here. It smells fresh, yeah. Beautiful setting right by the ocean, right behind us. Oh my god, look at it now. Okay, so it's all mixed up. One big bite. Mm. Awesome. Got really crunchy abalone, really crunchy um, jumbo with the crunchy vegetables. It's just like pure crunch, just so good. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of the Jeju Muhe. So when Jeju Food and Wine Festival told me we were going to a Jeju Muhe restaurant, I got so excited. All right. Mm. It's so nice. The the chari domi has the bones in it, so it's nice and crunchy. I really like it. What do you think of the jopa? Isn't it good? Yeah. It's just like seafood bibimbap, basically. Yeah. Wow, this is delicious. Okay, I'm gonna do a little rice with my chari muhe. That's a big bite. I'm gonna eat it all in one bite, though. Here we go. Mm. The chari domi is amazing. I, I love how the bones are so soft that you can eat it. And it gets, it's just a nice texture. Usually raw fish is so soft all the way through. This is like crunchy. It's good. I think in English it's called damselfish. Damselfish in English? Actually, like, I feel like I didn't learn anything about fish. I, in America, I only knew about like tuna, salmon, bass, like, and then after coming to Korea and eating the food, first I learned the Korean vocabulary, then I learned the English vocabulary. We ordered the chari muhe, but also we got the modem muhe, which is available year round, I think. But the modem includes um, hanji, hanji muhe, it's hanji and chombo. 
Um, so I'm gonna try it. And I really love hanji. Oh, I noticed that this bowl has a little bit of a little bit of seaweed in it. Okay, so this is a little bit different. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. Wow. The hanji texture. I said this before, the texture's like. No, it's like eating a potato. It's like eating a slightly undercooked potato. It just crunches so pleasantly in your mouth. I really love that. This is one of my favorite raw fish. So nice. I love Jeju Mule. Dwangjong Mule is so good. The broth is just so good. The broth here is really good. Like, I feel like you can do this one. I don't like it. Yeah. In many places. But this, like, the broth is good enough. And it's so, like, fresh. Yeah. It's, like, very... You can tell that the, the vegetables are really fresh because they're really crunchy. And the seafood is really fresh. I would say for my American, if you're watching my American viewers, I would say imagine like a garspaccio or even a really light Bloody Mary mix. Like it's kind of a rich uh, tomato-y broth, yeah. but it, there's no tomatoes, but it tastes like Bloody Mary mix with raw fish in it. Yeah. It's surprisingly good. Now if you get regular mulhae, like regular Korean mulhae, it's going to taste much sweeter and a little bit more sour. It's not gonna taste like the Bloody Mary mix, but it's the Jeju Mulhe. The traditional Mulhe here is just fantastic. You can just take giant bites of it. I love it. Wow. Mmm. In the summer too, because there's like huge chunks of ice in it. It's so cold and like it's so hot out today. So it's very refreshing. Mmm. Mm. Wow, this is amazing. Courtney and I grew up in the Midwestern United States, a place famous for their Dutch and Amish bakeries. Cinnamon rolls are closely tied to our thoughts of home. Jeju Island was the last place I thought I would find some of the best cinnamon rolls in the world. Bake Shop Sniff is run by two amazingly kind women who decided to specialize in baking their mother's favorite food, cinnamon rolls. But these rolls are so much more than the standard found at other places. High quality Vietnamese cinnamon and Jeju milk are used in their recipes. All right, so we got a bakery sniff milkshake using Jeju Liu, right? No additives, very organic. Oh my God. You can really taste the milk. It's like pure heavy cream. Mm. And with dozens of creative varieties to choose from, it's almost impossible to choose just one. So Courtney and I chose six, and some banana pudding, and some dog treats for Charlie. This bakery, I'm telling you, this is just absolutely amazing. Um, I'm gonna go for what they call the ultimate cinnamon roll. Oh my god, this looks so good. Wow. The smells, it's actually, the cinnamon smells not strong. It's like natural Vietnamese cinnamon. So it's like, I don't know, it's not as intense and it, it smells more natural, right? Maybe one of the best cinnamon rolls in the world. Dude. It's so delicious. Right. 
So if you eat cinnamon rolls, if you're a cinnamon roll connoisseur like me, you know that the middle of the cinnamon roll is always the best. The best bite right here. Whew. Ooh, it's so soft and gooey and delicious. They're not going to be doing this good though. This is like top tier. Mm. It's good. 100%. <laughs> 10 out of 10. It's time to go to my happy place. A Yontan grill? Check. A pile of handmade in-house kimchi? Check. Outdoor seating, check. And impossibly thick cuts of Jeju black pig, checkmate. The basic starting course is 750 grams, which is actually gonna be quite a bit for two people, but so I think 750 is a good start, actually. But the best thing is you get the really thick meat. This is Mokpo Gour, a long-running black pig institution in Sogwipo. Come here hungry because the standard order is 700 grams of high-quality female black pig. The unique name comes from the Sajang Nim, who lived in Mokpo before coming to Jeju Island. They make all of their kimchi in-house using Mokpo recipes which pair perfectly with the Jeju black pig. We just got our hooked wedgie, we just got our banchan. Everything looks so delicious. The pak kimchi, uh, butchu kimchi actually, one year old. It looks like the best banchan on the table to be honest. Also the kimchi looks really high quality. And I think later we're gonna get some uh, kimchi jjigae, hooked wedgie kimchi jjigae with this kimchi, it's gonna be awesome. Mm. Super, super sour. The thing is though, with hooked wedgie, you're gonna want that sourness. Amazing. This looks like Chapsuo's mom's kimchi, actually. <laughs> mm. Really deep, rich, Jolangnamdo kimchi. Mm. Oh, it looks so good. Ah, this is, you put a little meat in the... Yeah. So good. Oh, okay. Hot veggie, moksa, sogam chogam. Wow, oh my god, it's so juicy. Holy cow. Oh, oh baby. Wow. Absolutely delicious. Like, the pork goes through like five different tastes. The aftertaste is so rich and meaty. 
completely coat your mouth. Gum chumat, so much gum chumat, like, oh, it's so delicious. Oh. Okay, five years aged salt? salt, yeah, sea salt. This is milchi. Milchi, yeah. Okay. Wow, with the gochu kimchi. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. For real, guys. Really. This kimchi with the pork. That's one of the best bites of food I've ever had in my life. That is so good. The pork is really good. And the salt. Oh, amazing. I, yeah, you can taste this. Yeah. But the salt is different. Aged I'm glad you said that. <laughs> Let's do one shot of soju, so halasan soju. Corny. To Jeju Island, Gombe. Gombe. Cheers, guys. Mm. Oh, I didn't get the fairy. Mm. Failure. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Twiggle. <laughs> Don't man. <laughs> Seriously. Man. It's both really good. I just Honestly, the quality of this pork. It's so good. I love this kimchi. All the banchan here, 100% made here. Even the jang. Made in the pots here. So delicious. Okay. I don't know. I can't get over this Gucci kimchi. It's so amazing. Wow. Mm. Mm. This is the moksa fat. It's just dripping. Oh my god. All the the taste of the pork gets concentrated in that fat piece. Man. We'll give side with a little soda. So it is the morning of the third day, 10 a.m. Courtney and I are actually in a citrus village and this place is famous for traditional Jeju dishes using tangerines and citrus as the main ingredient. So excited, I think they're gonna teach us how to make some tarts. Some tangerine tart. It's gonna be really good. Hyo Sarang is a beautiful kitchen focused on teaching people about traditional Jeju Bapsang, prepared by several Jeju Harmonies. Before lunch, they invited us to experience a cooking class where we made tangerine tarts using fresh Jeju citrus. So, 
Our egg tarts are in the oven baking. Um, it's really fun, really simple recipe. I would say if you have some children or some family, this is definitely a place you should check out. They would have so much fun. It's like a little cooking class and I'm really excited to see what they taste like. All right, we're waiting for our tarts to cook. Oh, she brought us some coffee. Can something that? <gasps> Let's get the... This place is really cool. We're surrounded by orange trees and citrus everywhere. So we just finished making our egg tarts. We're gonna eat them here for dessert. And right now she's making our lunch. Everything here looks so beautiful, like very fresh, um, very vibrant, and very healthy food. It's light, all of the ingredients look so fresh. They make everything here, the kimchi they make here, the jang they make here. And of course, Jeju Gosari, very famous right now in the summertime. Yum. I love it. Ooh, this miyoku. So deep and rich. I wonder if this is momguk actually. I don't know the difference, but it tastes like burnt bones. It's like deep fried, but very light, very light. They must put a little bit of milgaru in, on there. This is a super flaky fish. Oh, it's nice. Very fresh. Samjang, some rice. I'm gonna do kimchi. It's like one of my favorite breakfasts in Korea. I fell in love with this one day when I went camping with some Koreans. We were so hungover. We had so much alcohol. And the guy brought myokuk for breakfast with rice. I just remember feeling so much better after. Mm. For dessert, let's do it. Oh, they're still a little bit warm. It's gonna be really good. It's beautiful. Do you think I should just eat it like a cookie? Is that what you do? Surprisingly good. Courtney, you're a good baker. It's an age old story David versus Goliath, the underdog versus the giant, Twego Jip versus places like Mokpo Goyo. While Mokpo Goyo stands as the giant, long established king of Jeju Black Pork. Twego Jip is certainly the underdog among the many barbecue places found around Jeju Island. First of all, premium black pork is replaced by the much cheaper Jeju Dweji. Instead of fancy shiksa, simple ramen noodles are served after the meal. But despite the aim at a much more affordable experience, 
There is still something unspeakably special about this place. The owner and his mother treat guests with kindness and handmade banchan. There's almost a worship of the Yontan Grill, to which I give my fullest blessing. And the high quality cooking methods are on par with the much more expensive pork spots found around the island. And all of this has gained Chuegojip a massive local following in Sokuipo for people who want simple, damn good barbecue at a reasonable price. And I must say, sometimes it feels good to root for the underdog. Cheers, guys. I'm gonna try the Hanjang Sa first. This is a great Oki Jip. Like, the owner is so kind, so nice. Ooh, here we go, baby. Oh, yeah. The Yontan Bulmak. The salty miyoji jang, miyojot. It's fantastic. It's really good. That's one thing I like about this place. It doesn't feel pretentious at all. Like, it's not as serious as some Jeju places. Mmm. Wow. It's so good. Wing Jang Jige is great. I think so. I think. Wow. Really delicious with the sour kimchi. I don't know what I would say. It's like pork kimchi. You know, there's like certain kimchi that's meant to be eaten with pork. It's just a really good yontan gokiji. The price is super cheap. The food is super good. Like. They give you, you get some Dwangjang service, which is like deep, rich Dwangjang. Wow. It's really nice. I love it. It's bubbling. I might make a rap. I love Goki Jip. I'm gonna make a song. I love Goki Jip. Mm -hmm. The pork has like a little cheesy flavor to it. That's what I love when you get high quality pork and it's got that little cheesiness. And you, you can be honest, like, how does this compare to hooked veggie for you? Mm -hmm. Hooked veggie versus Jeju san veggie, which, like, can you tell the big difference? Um, the flavor is a little bit A little bit, yeah. yeah. But much more expensive. <laughs> I think if I were a local person, I'd probably eat this more. Yeah. And also, I think if... This is more like everyday, solid barbecue. Yeah. So it's more like... Like special occasion. Special occasion. Kind of like Hanu. Yeah. I'm really glad that uh, the Food and Wine Festival mm -hmm. took us to, like, both. Because I feel like sometimes like Hukdachi gets so much hype. But there's really good barbecue on Jeju Island that's not Hukdachi. Like, it is Jeju San pork. It's just not that black pig brie. Yeah. I think the preparation is kind of like half of it. Yeah. So if you go to a Hukdachi restaurant, like all you can eat and you gotta cook it yourself and you don't have an expert like doing the thickness on a gas grill or whatever. I think that this is better because we have an expert here, yeah. even though it's not hooked with I think the, the skill of cooking it is most of the, of the thing. The quality of this is really good. It is it's high quality. It's not like the same. It's not that it's like yeah. it's thick. Yeah. I'm 
that pork can have this sort of dense, rich, buttery taste. I don't know. I would say if I did have that in America, Korea definitely made it more. So, like just the pure flavor of pork. Whoa. 